morning everyone. I wasn't going to vlog today because I don't really normally vlog on a weekend. Um, oh, just got a text. It is 12.30 so it's kind of like not the earliest start to the day but it's Sunday. The food shop's been and gone. Um, I felt I had a, quite a late night last night. I went to the theatre with my mum and we accidentally ordered <laughs> like a pint of Prosecco each um, because the rosé, like the blush Prosecco was buy one get one free so we got two each and we poured in a pint glass and we had that throughout the performance. We, sh we saw um, Lazarus which was David Bowie's musical that he wrote and it had Michael C. Hall from Dexter as the main character so yeah that was really good, it was the second time I'd seen it and it was great and we were front row so it was even better. Um, so yeah I was feeling, I had quite a late night after we got back and yeah the food shops come so I am so up for making all the food right now. I'm just going to be really honest and show you this, the house is an absolute mess at the moment. I'm taking all the bins out and doing some housework today. I also need to film some cutaways for a video um, as well at some point but now I'm going to make bacon sandwiches. Mm. So as well as bacon sandwiches I'm also going to start prepping um, dinner, tonight's dinner. I'm going to show you how to make my signature beef stew. It's absolutely delicious. I, I, like, I love making it. I even made it, I think the last time I made it was in the summer. Like it doesn't need to be cold weather for you to have a beef stew but it's really hearty, delicious. So I'm going to pop that on the hob. Like I'm going to eat my sandwich and then prep that and I'll show you how to make it because it's so good. You're going to love me. Okay, this might look disgusting, but this is the first time I've ever cooked properly crispy bacon, and I'm so happy. Oh my freaking god. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to prep my stew, and I thought I'd show you a handy little tip for any of you who have iPad Pros. I absolutely love this. It's like my favourite possession. Um, I've got my little keyboard, I've got my little iPad just standing up here, and this is what I like to do when I cook a lot. So this is a recipe I'm going to follow, it's one from Asda and it's delicious, it's really great. So I'm going to follow that, but then I'm also going to want to watch something at the same time because otherwise I will get bored. So I'm going to pull that across and find the other app, so I might open Netflix if I can find it. So I've got my Netflix up here and then you basically just bring that along and I've got my recipe. So I can do it all without like kind of having to keep moving everything. Um, I don't know what to watch though. I've been watching so many things at the moment. I've been watching House of Cars, this, which I'm not that into. I haven't seen the main film, like the um, Jim Carrey one, so I, I, yeah, I don't know whether I should watch that first. I started watching Gossip Girl again. It's not good. I don't really know what to go for. Maybe I'll go for something I've seen already. Hmm. Okay, I've decided finally to go for a Dexter just because I saw Michael C. Hall last night and I'm in the mood. Yeah. Well, it was another excuse for an open bar and uh, rehiring of the million statues. Do me a favor, will It's barely there. I did on Gossip Girl, it's just easier. Um, so I'm chopping some garlic and I'm going to put the beef in the pan and add some flour. Here it is, I make sure, and once that's all browned then I can add the garlic and then some of these sauces. Uh, yeah, I found her. And, uh, and then I lost her. This looks so gross, but once you add flour, it kind of gets a bit thicker, like the juices that have come out of the meat. So I've added garlic and onions and just the beef and some flour. I can probably add some more, to be honest, but I can add more later to thicken it up. I've just made some stock cubes. This is how I normally do it. I did buy this, but it came open, so I'm hesitant to use it. And also, I feel like it's a little bit cheating because it's like pre-made, whereas I like to make my own kind of flavours. So I'm going to add this in. Hopefully it will cover all the meat. I'm also going to add a splash, sorry my kitchen's a mess now, a splash of um, Worcester sauce for flavour and also some red wine. I don't know what if this is any good or whatever but let's have a try. It smells great. 
I don't really measure things, I just kind of whack them in. Give that a stir. Also going to add a squirt of tomato puree and see, um, salt and pepper and then I think that. So I also just added some parsnips in there as well, just cut them up into like carrot shaped like discs and pop them in and in an hour or so I'm going to add some baby potatoes and some carrots. The reason I don't add them right now is because if you add them too early on depending on how long you want to cook it then they'll go really soggy so it's just up to preference whether you like them quite crisp or like mush basically and I like it pretty much on the verge of mush but not too like not like absolute slime so I'm gonna add them in an hour and I probably what is the time quarter past two so I will probably dish this up I don't know like four or five maybe five o'clock for an early dinner so you just stew it as long as you want basically on a kind of low heat I don't have a slow cooker unfortunately so if you do this will be so much easier because you don't have to keep kind of checking on it you just leave it be but um I don't have one so I'm doing mine on the hop. I'm fully aware that I have hardly vlogged today, I apologise. Um, just been doing housework, took all the bins out, been cleaning, tidying, relaxing as well because it is a weekend. Um, and it is currently smear for smear, hashtag smear for smear week. So go check out my Instagram, I'll leave it down below and get involved because it's a brilliant campaign that I'm an ambassador for. Now, but now it's time to make some dumplings for the stew. So what time did I put the stew on? Like half one. And it is now quarter past five. So ready for the dumplings to go in. Um, it's been on at practically a really holy, low heat the whole time. And it looks and smells absolutely delicious. So I'm very excited. So there they are. You just place them on top of the stew. I also forgot to mention that I added the carrots and potatoes like an hour and a half ago. Um, so yeah, you just place the dumplings on top and they kind of expand and get bigger. So I'm going to leave that for about 20 minutes, turn them over and then they should be ready. And we are done. The meat should be beautifully like um, easy to tear apart and everything looks amazing. I'm so excited. I am going to say goodnight now guys. I've just been chilling in bed. I changed Echo's cage. Um, and then I've just been chilling. I actually just watched a film on Amazon Prime. I decided to get like um, a, f a free 30 day membership of it so I can see if they've got any good kind of videos or films to watch. And I watched a film and I really enjoyed it. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's called What What Other Couples Do. I will leave a link to it down below. Not sponsored obviously. But yeah, I just really enjoyed it. Um, it's made me think about relationships and it was good. It's like an independent film about these four different couples who are all going through like their own problems and they get together and they play like a game together where they can cheat. And yeah, it's just really interesting. Very witty. I liked it a lot. So I am just going to go and fill my bottle of water up before bedtime and go to bed. I've got a really early morning tomorrow so I will vlog all day and hopefully all week as well. And yeah, see you then. Bye.